everybody. So I got a request from Doublemint to talk about how to do macros for a mouse to make uh, uh, handling your ships a lot easier and um, make it so you don't kill your fingers um, from repetitive strain injury. Um, and people say, oh, it doesn't really save a whole lot. Yeah, it saves a ton because you got to do left arrow click, left arrow click, left arrow click, left arrow click, yeah, one, maybe one more left arrow click for one action to tell your fleet to do one thing. And you can turn that into a one one keystroke. Okay, so <clears throat> it's based off of. Let me open it up here. Based off. Oops. Oh, we got the homepage. It's based off of. Um, Basically, King Size saying, "Hey, we don't mind it as long as uh, you are at the computer, controlling the keyboard, controlling the game. You're 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 still in control. You don't walk away." Okay. So, what you would do now um, for all my videos and stuff, I'm using my main computer, which is a which is a decent uh, laptop, which never actually leaves the desk, and it's connected to a gaming mouse, a Logitech. Uh, G500. However, you don't have to have a gaming mouse to do this. I actually picked that just because it felt nice in my hand when I bought it. Uh, that one never leaves. I have a little computer that I don't have a mouse connected to most of the time. So for that, I use a thing called Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey. Okay. So you go to Auto Hotkey, and here you download Auto Hotkey. And you save file, and then you run it. Just a second. I was thinking. <laughs> no, so I was trying to figure out some stuff to handle XML easier. Um, so you run that. I already have a Lotus, so there's really no for reason for me to run it. But you run. You just set, take all the defaults. Okay. Now what you do is you right click on your desktop go to new go to auto hotkey script you give it a name that's fine then you right click and you do edit script now what I did in that same forum post I actually gave you the actual, the actual script that you need you can find this pretty easily by searching for auto hotkey. Let me show you what the search results were. I searched for auto hotkey. This is what I got. Macro statement right here. I think I'm on page four. It's probably something even more unique you can search on, like this or this. It'll probably get you there, you know, even easier. So you just copy this to your script. This part is the same as this part. And this is set up for the F12 key. If you want a different key, um, you can change your key here. If it's an odd character, you might actually have to look on the Auto Hotkey website in their documentation for how to reference other keys. Um, I use the F12 because it doesn't really have any usefulness in anything that I do. I don't use the auto hotkey anywhere. I mean I don't use F12 anywhere. So I hit save. <clears throat> and all this does is left click, I mean left arrow, click, left arrow, click, left arrow, click. And what is sleep is a sleep 50 milliseconds. Because if you pack them all together it happens so fast that flash sometimes doesn't actually pick up all of the all of the commands. So let's see that I save it. So we can close that. So now what we need to do is just double click it. And by double clicking it, it sticks it down here. And now it's there. So now if we go into Battle Pirates and we say send something out, launch it and let's find something to kill let's kill this 55 let's see, that was F12 
So now all I need to do is move my mouse and hit F12. Actually, I want to go this way. So you can see when it's cycling through. Now this is this is my mouse my mouse macro, and this is auto hotkey. So they're about to set the same right now. So I hit F12 right there. You all saw that. You can see it cycling. Well, I'm assuming in YouTube you'll be able to see it cycling. Uh, you, you ought to be able to see it cycling. Okay, I don't actually want it to get out of the way of this. So that I'm clicking like normal, right? But I have my left hand on the mouse. I mean, the left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on the mouse. And if you're, if you're, um, if you're left-handed, you can pick a different key that makes sense for you. Because it just all depends on how your computer is set up and what you use. The tilde key, the key that is uh, left of the uh, one, you know, you don't use that for anything. That's an actual, that's a really good key sometimes to use. Um, you have to be careful with some of the F keys because you actually might want to use that in the browser. If you And I've seen people use like the space bar and stuff like that. Ooh, that's a bad idea. That's going to hit me. wasn't really paying attention. I was talking to you and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, you have to be careful with that, and I'll tell you why in a second. Once I kill this and quit, you know, take a damage from it. <clears throat> Target that guy. Um, I don't always shut the auto hotkey off. The problem is if you use a key, if you use a trigger key that is common in other, you know, parts of the uh, computer, you'll need a shut auto hotkey off, and I'll show you how to do that. Just well, actually, that will kill it, so we don't have to watch that. <clears throat> so come down here, go to here. So if I right click here, we have a couple options. So we have reload this script or script. So like for example, if you edited this and saved it, you can just hit reload and it'll reload the script. Uh, you can edit it and you can exit. So if we exit this right here. So now um, I'm not sure where I could go that you would actually see a difference. You wouldn't see a difference if I hit 12 right now, but it won't do anything. F12 will just do what F12 would have done anyway. Um, so that's that's basically it. The script is really, really simple, um, which is why they're kind of okay with them. It, it just uh, reduces some clicking that you're doing. It doesn't reduce any of your controlling, just reduces your clicking. I think when I was thinking of F12, I was actually thinking of my trackpad on my laptop where um, so my left hand might run the trackpad and my right hand might do the F12. So I just move my pointer where I want the ships to go and I hit F12. Move my pointer where I want the ships to go, hit F12. And, and that's all I'm doing. I, I, it's been a while since I read through all this. I don't really care what all this says. I actually think um, this is actually a comment and doesn't do anything. I don't really know. Um, don't matter. That's what it comes with. Just leave it like it is. This is the important part. And you can get this from the forums site. Um, and you get auto hotkey from autohotkey.com. Uh, it's a really simple one. It actually has lots of functionality, but you don't care about it and you don't even have to see it. Um, you don't even need the documentation or tutorials. Just follow what I said. Um, if you're on a Mac, I have no idea how to solve your problem. Um, but I'm, but actually, I think Macs have. Um, Either something similar to this built in, or um, there are there are solutions for um, key scripting sort of automation stuff for the Max as well. So I, I hope this helps um, save a lot of um, key strain and that sort of stuff. It's a it's a really useful thing. I've actually been using it a long long time. You can probably tell them from my videos. Anything that has like a seamless sort of transition between ships, I've I've been using it well longer before their statement. I'm a programmer. I understand the difference between a um, an automation script and a and a helper sort of thing. Um, this is really a helper sort of thing because you you have to be here. You have to still control the ships. It's not something that um, really gives you an advantage because you saw the cycle through, right? I can do that just as fast, right? Um, if I really if I really practice and some of my really really early videos, I I actually do them all by hand. 
um, but I was almost just as fast as the actual um, script. So, you know, it, there's no real advantage from a playability point of view. The advantage comes in from saving your fingers and your clicking and stuff. I have a tendency to press too hard, so I will actually um, bruise and um, and have strain have a hurt the tips of my fingers because I'm a little sensitive for that, you know. <laughs> hmm. As I say at work, I use a left hand for my mouse, so I don't click as hard. I use a right hand for my mouse at home, and a left hand at at, um, at work, um, just so I don't have to click as much, and I and I distribute um, the clicking because I work on a computer all day at work, and I come home and I play on a computer all day at night, <laughs> except for when I have my son. So I hope that helped everybody. Remember AutoHockey.com. Go to the forums and search for either Auto Hockey or maybe something like set working dir uh, something you know unique so the search results give you exactly what you're looking for uh, somebody else posted another uh, another way to do it but I really think that that's way more complicated this one is way simple um, you just right click new auto hotkey script uh, name it oh, go back in here edit script paste the stuff in there save it double click it so it'll, it'll double click it so it'll show up down here and you'll see the name of it bp.ahk ah auto hotkey and uh, when you're done with it right click on it hit exit uh, if you pick an odd enough key you don't really need to ever exit it so that's up to you so anyway I hope that helps y'all talk to you later bye bye